Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is Tuesday. Sam's at work today. Sophie is checking chickens because like all every night almost she, she dreams that she goes out there and there's three eggs. Now the eggs are coming and she keeps dreaming it, but we want the eggs. Hey dude, stop with the banging. Uh, if you guys didn't get to see, Sophie got her saddle pad. Glorious, beautiful saddle pad. Finn, you look like you had a rough night. He always does. He always does. You can storm pins his ears when he's getting his breakfast. So the girls are going to do um, chores this morning and I'm gonna go up and clean the house, but I'm gonna actually try and clean more of the mare's paddock. I've been trying to get that all clean. You guys remember in the winter it got like super hay, filled with hay, but it's good. It's, it's almost good now. Guy is still coming to get our poop pile. He should be here soon. Today, Gabby's gonna ride, and it's a day for Finn. I'm not gonna move the jumps around. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. I'm excited to do that. We need a pole. We need a tripod. We want a big, long line of poles. All right, let's do that. If you didn't see our last to leave the barn challenge, it's up on YouTube right now. You didn't see it, but Gabby kicked the ball and bent our tripod. How easy I get swayed. Let's go move the poles. Yeah, we cannot move the poles until we let the horses out. Silly mom. That was not a smart move, Miss Molly. She forgot. She must have forgot that the fence is scary. She doesn't usually go in the horse paddock. Look at that physique. Look at that gorgeous little body. That white tail. I love how she's put together. Sophie, did you wash your face when I told you to wash your face? Did you actually? Yeah, you need to wash your face. Also, let's go check and see how well you took care of your saddle last night. You always keep it covered, right? Yeah. Let's go check. Because I walked into this last night, this morning, and I was like, wow, that's a nice saddle. It should be covered. Ghost. Ghost did it? All right, get it covered. We should Can take them up. Out? We need to take them up and oil them. You need to stretch this out because it's too small. Finn is feeling fresh. <laughs> Gabby's gonna have a ride of her life today. Fiona did give us some ideas of what to do when he starts rearing on the way to the arena. I'm gonna try a couple today. I don't know if I'll show them, but it's gonna be interesting. A couple people suggested the same ones. Um, Sophie's all out here with her sad songs. Tell them your favorite song, Sophie. Um, Finn's favorite song is <laughs> Hips Don't Lie. Hips Don't Lie? He, he dances to it. <laughs> What's your favorite song? Um, I don't know. I thought it was True Colors. Well, I don't, I can't listen to that anymore. You don't have that one anymore? Yeah. Oh, but you know, the face kills me. Your face matches your shirt. And it's 100 degrees out here and you're wearing a hoodie. Because you have a pocket? No, okay. Oh. So we've been letting the horses loose further in the field so that they kind of get the idea to eat all of it instead of just pick and choose. He charged that Tino at a canter. Did he? And then I have been, Sophie and I have been picking up any kind of sticks and stuff that we see in the field with a slug on it. That's yummy. I dare you to eat it. No. Five dollars. Ten. <laughs> Finally you learn to negotiate. Every day I fill up this yellow bucket and put it in the grass pasture. And every single day they tip it. So I don't like them. They're on four hours on grass, and I don't like them not having water for four hours. So today I'm going to outsmart them. And I'm going to put a heavier bucket. This is a winter bucket. And clean it. There's nothing better than being outside early, early in the morning. When the grass is still wet and the horses are out enjoying their breakfast. Like it's amazing. So you guys might have seen the Chino be scared of all the jumps. He jumped this jump. Not too bad. And then on this side. 
It's white and he jumped and he didn't want to jump it. Look at the puppy. He's like, yay, finally it's my turn. I can't wait till we can jump her. Yeah, so how high is how high is that jump? This is four feet. Okay. Four feet is there on you, so what do you think that is? Four, three, nine, three, six. This is my record jump. Three, six? Storm, so yeah. Crazy. Can't wait three, to do your record jump. Three foot, two, nine. Two, nine. So she jumped two, nine yesterday. But all the jumps at Trail Yarm are going to look like this tall. That's insane. Because they put more filler in it, so it makes it look Yeah. So, okay. so our horse... That's why we need filler. Because one of the jumps had, like, green filler, like a green lock thing, and it was so... Yeah, so we need to do we some work on our jumps. So we're gonna buy some fake flowers this week, or as soon as we get a chance. We're I going. I almost wanted to put this one up. So we're gonna do fake fake flowers, and we're gonna put more scary jumps in here. And we're gonna switch everything around so it looks like a super different arena. Yeah, we're dirty, but also I'm, I'm gonna. Tired. Oh, so we're gonna do tires. Oh, this is from the tires. So what are you gonna do with the tires? Why don't we line them all up underneath the jump so they. That would be cool. I would die, but that would be cool. All right, let's do that. All right, do you want to do a whole row or just one? Row. That way, you can't jump around it. It'll be terrifying. Yeah, so like side by side all the way along? Mm-hmm. All right. I had to put the jump up to three feet. I don't think you should, though. I think you should let the jump sit on the tires to hold them there. Then we have to put the jump up to three feet to get all the tires underneath it, then we put it down. All right, well, let's but do it. They're all different sizes. So that Are they all one. different sizes? Yeah, that one's a big one. Huh. This is like the biggest one there. Do you want to leave this jump here? Is this going to be where you want it? Yes. All right, let's do it. stress pay do all the running all the heavy lifting no just joking Gabby does most of it but I got the water I'm the water mom you want to drink so Ruby started barking at you was it me she was barking at yeah I was so annoyed and then, and then she I loves this so much scary jump number one we have a uh, jump over there we have this box we have this two foot six oxer, I think it is. And then uh, we have the scary tire jump. So I have, um, I need to paint that pole. I also have this blue thing. So I need to get a pole for this. I need to paint, I'm gonna paint that paint that pole and then I have another set of jump standards in the barn that need painting and a pole so I need to buy a pole paint three things and actually I need two poles I need two more poles and then that'll be like the end of our jump thing I'm literally so hot I could jump in the pool the weird thing is about me is that I only like to swim when it's so hot and humid only when the humidity gets really high that I can't do anything else my belly only needs to eat when we're heading up or when we're <laughs> I know I'm starving too. I could walk through that puddle. 
Never dare Gabby to do something. Those are your good mall shoes? Are those your town shoes? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, it hurts so bad. There? Oh. It tastes like onion. I can't see anything. Oh. It's just hand. Guys, I just got stung the worst. I think I got stung 10 times in a row. By who? A bee. I'm going to show you guys as soon as I can take my hand out of the water. This is actually helping. Bees can't sting you like ten times. They can only sting you once. Then the stinger goes in your skin, and then the guts all fall out of the bees. Well, I think that I think it's still in me. Yeah, duh. No, duh. Oh. Where is, it? where is it? Right here. See where it's black and blue? My finger is throbbing. <laughs> it's black and blue. <laughs> oh, I can't wait till this girl's gonna get stung by a bee one day. I already got stung by a bee. Oh. The pain! Hand under here to rearrange the table like it was crooked. And all I did was put my hand under here and there was a bee under there. Gone? Yeah, I don't know where it went. Oh. It's off to die somewhere. I'm not joking. It's bad. It's really bad. <laughs> I have such. I just sat in my bed and laughed. <laughs> I was screaming my head off. What did you think happened? I was like, ah! I thought a, a spider. spider or something. <laughs> Everybody in our family screams for bugs. Oh, the pain. You guys, my finger is so bad. I got stung on my back. So uh, stung. Did you? Yeah. I got stung before. I worked in for camper. I can't even tell where the where the stinger went in. It feels like it's swelling, but it just looks normal. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, give me that fly sweater. I have to keep oh the pain. You guys, I can't tell you how much it hurts. If you are a kid out there, I still do flies at once. If you are a kid out there and you're terrified of bees, it's okay. It's not that bad. Oh, I just found these rotting gloves of Gabby's, and I'm thinking, hmm, there's only one finger left. <laughs> Molly ate them and left Gabby the one finger. <laughs> the two fingers. Well, the thumb and one finger. I kind of feel like Molly's trying to tell Gabby off. Sophie told me to put butter on it, so I did. What do you guys think? Can you tell the swelling? I don't know if you can tell. It's really swollen though. Guys, I don't Alright, it's been a couple hours later. If any of you guys are like worried about me, my fingers are doing a lot better. It's still really tight, still hurts. Actually, it's getting better and better. But yeah, it takes a couple hours for a bee sting to go away. I don't even know where it stung me. How many hours it takes? Like it hurts from here to it hurts from here to here. See? It keeps dumping the yellow bucket. That's why I had to get a bigger bucket. And it's only half full now. That's how much water they drank today. I have a huge growing list of things that I need to buy. I'm actually not in love with shopping during COVID. I get really stressed when I'm shopping under stress. No. Storm's probably loving that he's in out of the sun. We're actually just getting ready to ride. Gabby has to ride. Thin every day, three days on, one day off, three days on. Today's the first day of a three day on. And she also wants to ride Chino because her next lesson is on Thursday and on Thursday she's riding Finn. So she wants to get her rides in on Chino. The pool is 72 degrees and I have my shade on today because it's scorching. The fact that we have the ice cold water in the barn whenever we need it, oh man, it's so much worth it better than having to run up to the house. I swear we're at the stage where we are running out of everything. So are you actually gonna braid his hair before you ride? Yeah, because he's sweating. And we have to tame his mane to that side. So basically I could be swimming and cooling down while you get ready to ride? Yeah. Oh my gosh. We are hot. Right, I am sitting in my spot while Sophie lunges Willow, plays with Willow. I'm gonna have my water and cool down a bit because it is so hot out here. Today is a good swimming day. Today I would swim. It's water, Willow. Nope. Keep trying, she's interested. She's not, she's scared. Yeah, but she will get not scared when you show her.
like there's no way we can ride two horses today in this heat. But I might be biased because I want to swim. Aw, oh, Finny, your braids look cute. He's looking, he's like, oh, there's a little pony in the, in the arena. I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle All the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm alone I got it Alright, so he did learn So Finn stopped He didn't, uh, he didn't try it today He tried Oh, he did try I plan on swimming. I plan on riding two horses. Kevin plans on riding two horses. Like yeah, that jump is as tall as Finn almost. Three feet. Oh, it's only half Finn's height. Once he settles down though, he turns into a great little pony. We're gonna have a lesson. I've already said this a million times, but she's gonna have a lesson. super risky. It's really hot out. Gabby's insisting on riding another horse. Hold the thing. I like to be with her when she rides. So Sophie and I are gonna go swimming in our clothes Hold the thing for me. while she tacks up. We're just gonna dunk in and here go. I need to take these off. Oh I'm dying of heat. So we may be see we may have see-through clothing in five minutes but we're gonna jump in, swim around and then we're gonna Crap, I, I forgot how to turn around. All is it on. cold? Kind of. Hurry no, up. Does. Yeah. Don't video me. It's gonna be see-through. No, it won't be. My shirt might. <laughs> you got a bra on. <sighs> so one day, Sophie and I plan to swim between horse changes 
Gabby's the fastest she's ever been in her life. We didn't even get to swim. We just got to dunk in for a couple of seconds and she was done. Glorious, I feel a little bit better. I wish my shoulders were wet though. Yeah, we didn't even get to go under. No, we didn't get to, we didn't get to do anything. One time, Gabby. The said. one time she's fast. I swear, she, she's, she's methodical. She's like, I will ruin everything for them. He like the, he doesn't mind the tires? Not too much. I'm kind of worried about the tires. When you're ready to jump, I'll come out there. He's gonna die. She can't ride him too long. Does he look lame when you turn? Don't say those words to me. I dreamed that he got lame. Yeah. Front left. Well, it's a sad day on the day-by-day -day farm. Chino's sore. I dreamed it two days ago. I dreamed that he was going to be sore. I keep dreaming uh, we get eggs. And Sophie keeps dreaming we get eggs. I like the eggs dream better. So uh, basically, he's been having, you should paint his feet before he goes back out. And I'll put, put the sunscreen on the horses. <laughs> basically, his feet have been chipping a tiny bit. And it started just like a couple days ago, like maybe less than a week. And we showed our trainer and said like his feet are chipping and she said yeah he's due for a trim. His feet are a little dry so we've been painting them with some oil. And uh, so I feel like, see this little chip here? I don't know if no, that's what it is. It's This is the left. No, it's this one. Oh, this chip is the one you think that bothers them? So anyway, he's got some chips in his feet and they're a little bit long. Their feet, he's been eating grass and you guys know if you eat grass all that extra nutrition and goodness can make their hoofs grow long but his hoof really grew long this time and farrier is coming in a couple of days so we're gonna let him deal with the whole thing and then he'll be right as rain i'm sorry about that chino but it's really hard for gabby because this is the first time he's been off no has he been off before yeah. when back. in the back were you off in the back don't tell Sam, but I left the hose on all day. Literally the whole day. So now the paddock is a little flooded. That's okay. Roll in the water here, Finny. He's hot. His face is all dirty. I washed all the sweat off of him.